I was born in Lisbon. I was raised in Lisbon. I'm a doctor's son. I was to be a doctor in reality, but I became a farmer by passion. We are talking from my farm, which is on the west south coast of Portugal. My wines are all about emotion. If you put your character on the one you're doing, the big challenge is really to understand very well what's going on during the vintage. And you have to also change the way you behave during that year. If you know how to interpret that, you're really on the right way to do great wines. I believe the, that the terroir is the most important thing. We have the most preserved grapes and top quality to make less damages and to make uh, very, very good wines. I really don't think that uh, um, reds are superior to whites. In one side you have presence, you have power, complexity, this sensation of full body in your mouth, but on the other side you have elegance, you have freshness, you have light, minerality. I make four different red wines and I make two white wines. The Lido Real is a very old Portuguese variety. There is only six hectares in the world. And I have one hectare here in Portugal and I make a, a white wine of it and it's really an amazing wine. 120 years ago, someone said that uh, this grape was really one of the most important and the most um, uh, elegant from the Valley of the Sado. Some Galego Dourado from uh, our last uh, year, from 2016. It's a very, very mineral wine. Another one is called Autocar, which is the Porto Carro without uh, being aged on oak. Very easygoing wine. Caval Maluc, which means in English crazy horse. This is really a powerful and concentrated, complex, uh, lots of character, lots of personality. It's a wine that lasts over 20 years. And uh, anime is made from a very old clone of Brunello, old fashioned, old, uh, old world wine. I have one, one white, it's called Alfayat, which means tailor. And it's a little bit what I am, tailor, uh, tailor of wines different uh, grapes, you put it all together and you, you, you make a suit of, uh, of the bottle. We cannot uh, have so much uh, or either quality and quantity. Every year we will have new, new stands for, for the production. This is a, a very important part of the process. We're gonna choose what we, we're gonna, we're gonna leave uh, the production for the next year. We choose to work with local people and every year is the same person that helps us. They love the process, they pass their love to the field, to the wines, to the, to the grapes. We are trying to get to a biodynamic production. We are not still there because biodynamics is not something that you can chase from one day to another. It's a process of, it's a walking. You have to have a lot of knowledge about history, about culture, about farming, of course. We have to know very well our soil, we have to know very well our climate, we have to know very well the grape we're producing and don't really push too much to put them uh, uh, to do what uh, they're not supposed to do. The nature giving us we want to preserve it from the maximum between the vines and the bottle. So the bottle can express all of what is the terror of Porto Carro. Wine for me it's really a way of um, showing uh, others my abilities to make something original, different and to really uh, leave a mark on this world. One word to describe wine, I'm sorry, I will put in two words, emotional sexuality.